This is a video demonstration of configuring user security in one click. For this demonstration, we have two teams of operators we want to grant different access rights and privileges across two distinct areas of our network, our network in North America and our network in Europe. We want operators from both teams to see both networks, but we want only the NA operators to have read and write access to the NA network and only the EU operators to have read and write access to the EU network. To do this, we're going to take advantage of user groups and security communities. Let's get started. From the Explorer panel in one click, click the Users tab. Then, click Create a new group. The name for this group is NA Operators. We'll make sure to check they're a member of Operators before clicking OK. Then, we'll do this again for EU Operators. The two user groups are created. Now, we'll create security communities and list the two groups as members. Select the group NA Operators. We can see that one click lists this group as a member of the admin security community by default. Select the security community and then click the Remove button. Now click New. We'll enter the name NA Network. Click Add and click OK. Do this again for the second security community, EU Network. Though it might seem like the more efficient way to do this, don't add both security communities in the same dialog window. Security communities entered at the same time are assumed to share the same privileges, which is not what we want for this task. We'll repeat this process for the EU Operators group. Remove Admin, add NA Network, and add EU Network. This takes care of the who and the where of securing the network. We have who can make changes in the NA operators and EU operators groups. We have our where they can make changes in the NA network and EU network security communities. Let's define what actions can be taken. In the Users tab, select NA operators, and then under the Access tab, select NA network. Down in the Component Detail panel, click on the Roles tab. We are going to add the appropriate roles the NA operators will have when managing the NA network. Click Add Remove and use the left arrow to add Operator Read Write to the roles. Now in the Access tab, click EU Network. In the Roles tab, click Add Remove and add Operator Read Only to the roles. With that, members of the NA Operators group can now read and write to models in the NA Network security community, but can only read models in the EU Network security community. We'll do this in reverse for the EU Operators group. Select EU Operators, then select NA Network. Click Add Remove and Add Operator Read Only. Select EU Network, click Add Remove, Add Operator Read Write. With our user groups and security communities created and roles assigned, there's only one thing left. We need to populate our user groups with users. In the Users tab, select NA Operators and click Create a User. Assign a username, and optionally, add the user's full name and password, and any other details in the Details tab. We'll repeat these steps for every additional user to be added to the NA and EU operators groups.